Hey everyone, Kaylee here. Today we're gonna talk about three different ways to wear a waterfall braid. Now, I just showed you guys how to do a waterfall braid, so I thought it makes a lot of sense to talk about the different hairstyles you can wear it in. So I hope that you guys enjoy this. I hope you get some inspiration from it. Let's get started. Let's start off with this side swept option. Now you can do this on any texture, but I decided to prep my hair with a one and a quarter inch iron for some loose waves. Then you're just going to pull all your hair over to one side and you're ready to get started. So I'm gonna start by taking a small piece of hair from right next to my part and braiding down diagonally doing that waterfall braid. And you pretty much get to go normally until you reach your ear. At that point, you wanna start making sure that you're pulling in hair from the other side of your head so your hair is literally being swept around your head and into this braid. Once you've reached the nape of your neck, you are done with the waterfall braid. You're just gonna braid a couple more inches normally. Then we're gonna take that normal braid underneath your hair and we're gonna secure it in place by grabbing a little piece of hair around your neck and putting the braid and that little piece of hair together. Then you're just gonna secure that with an elastic and that way you get to secure it without using bobby pins and it's totally gonna stay in place. And to hold everything in place, I'm using this Peace Rose Oil Hold Mist from Shea Moisture. This helps to combat dry, brittle hair. It adds shine and medium hold, and it is literally the most touchable hairspray I've ever experienced. Like, you can't feel it. It's really cool. And with that, this hairstyle is done. I love how pretty the side swept effect is, but I also love that it's all on one side of your head. So if you struggle with waterfall braids, this is going to be a lot easier because it's literally all right there where you can see it. And now onto this half updo. I started by augmenting my curls with a one inch curling iron just so they popped a little more. And then I used this Shea Moisture Peace Rose Oil Dry Shampoo at my roots. This helps to obviously absorb oil and impurities, but it also adds volume. And it is hands down my favorite non-aerosol dry shampoo. So now that we've zhuzhed this up a little bit more, let's get into the waterfall braid. I'm starting again right next to my hairline and then I'm making that waterfall braid with bigger pieces. This is kind of a chunkier waterfall braid and it goes really well with the volume and the hairstyle so it's overall a lot more statementy. Once you get to the back of your head, you're just going to braid a couple of inches normally and hold your place with a bobby pin. And then do the same thing on the other side. And you can braid with little pieces if you want for this, I just really liked the chunky braid so that's what we did. Now on the back, I did a little do -si do with the bobby pins. The first thing I did was to put a bobby pin right next to the end of each waterfall braid, and then I unraveled the hair up to that bobby pin. Then I swept the first left side over and then pinned it in place. And then I did the same thing on the other side, sweeping the right section underneath the left one I just pinned and pinned that in place as well. And this hairstyle's done. This is a more fun and loose way to wear the waterfall braid, which I really like. And because you're taking big sections, it's also a lot faster. So there's that too. And now for our final hairstyle, we're gonna build on that last one and add a fishtail braid. You're gonna do that by picking up the hair that's pinned back and maybe some extra hair for some more volume and fishtail braiding that all the way down and securing it with an elastic. Once you've done that, you can you guessed it, pull the braid apart for some more volume. Would it be a Kaylee Melissa video if I didn't do that? I don't think so. And then for some crunch free definition, I'm adding in the Shea Moisture Styling Gel Cream. This product is actually meant to be used on wet hair to define and condition, but I like using a small amount of it and scrunching it through my dry hair for the exact same thing. And there you go. I know just adding a fishtail braid might not seem like a lot, but to this hair nerd, it makes a huge difference. It's a lot more bohemian, a lot more festival-y. I love it, so I thought I would throw it in. So there you go, three ways to style a waterfall braid. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to tell me in the comments what other videos you'd like to see from me. And also, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for more hair tutorials for every day. And I'm gonna be back on Saturday with my next one, so I hope I see you then. Mwah! Bye!